Welcome back to the channel. So um, I want to bring you along on breaking this uh, less bear in. I've got 300 rounds through it so far and I'm going to drop in some um, videos of me shooting this um, just after this. But um, this has been a great gun so far. It's uh, completely within 300 rounds, flawless, no failures to feed, nothing. It's just been flawless. It just runs, okay? One thing that I noticed, um, it does have a snap cap. One thing I noticed is it seems like it loosened up quite a bit already, okay? Not quite a bit, but enough to where I can actually rack the slide like this with no issue. Still very tight slide, nothing loose, um, but it's breaking in very nicely. If you look at the at the, be the uh, barrel there, see you got a little bit of a wear, nice wear, and that's gonna end up wearing all the way around. So um, just because they fit the the barrel bushing so well to that uh, barrel. But um, so far I love this. This is the Les Bear Custom, custom carry. Um, and it's just been great. One thing that I did do, and it's not in the video, because I did this afterwards, uh, after shooting, but I put a magwell on it. And I really like the uh, flat mainspring housing on this, the serrated. So I didn't want to change that out. So this is actually the bare, the bare mainspring housing. But what I did do is I went and got a Wilson Combat Magwell. Um, it's just the basic one that fits over the inside of the, um, the uh, grip screw. Okay. And it actually fits very well and looks very nice. Um, I modified the grip just a little bit for it to fit in there. And I've never done this before on any of my other uh, 1911s. I always go and buy the complete one-piece magwell and all that stuff. But I want to put that on there this way just to see how it looked. Um, I really just wanted the function of the magwell. And it's really um, just for reloads and everything. It's, it's just made a big difference. I like that. It's, it's a real um, must-have on a 1911, in my opinion, to have a good magwell. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So what I'll do is, uh, like I said, it's a flawless gun. Check out Les Bear. You guys are going to love it. Um, but uh, I'm going to throw up some shooting videos of this uh, now. Thank you, guys. some pretty good groups with that and that has a lot to do with the trigger the trigger is just um, amazing it's about a four pound trigger and the reset let me see if I can do this on camera the reset is right there okay there's the break again so at first we had that little bit of a hitch and it seems to be gone if you watch there's your take up here's the break so it just breaks now. Before we had a little bit of a take up. My first video, you could watch that. After the take up, there's a little bit of a hitch and then it would break. So that seems like it's been eliminated. Um, but um, I, like I said, I'm impressed. I, I'm happy to have a bear back. Um, this is uh, our less bear back in the collection. Um, but um, everything about it, I mean, it's a complete custom gun and it's made so well. Very nice gun. I like it.
to put more in. Uh, yeah, no, 